With the COVID-19 vaccine rollout gearing up across the globe, expectations are rising for the restart of international travel. In March, China became the first country to launch its international travel health certificate, paving the way for eventually open up travel between China and other countries. Since then, the EU, ASEAN and Japan have all come out and announced plans to launch their version of a digital vaccine passport. Despite discrimination concerns over these vaccine passports, experts believe that it is the light at the end of the tunnel for the travel industry. Yes, this is the only way to move forward. What is really holding the industry back right now is the insistence by governments that, they, that passengers must undergo quarantine for 14 days or seven days. That's just decimating the travel industry. Uh, people are not willing to do that. So the only solution is vaccination. If people can undergo vaccination and their vaccination certificates can be recognised internationally, then that means that takes away the need for quarantine. COVID-19 has been an unprecedented shock to air travel. According to the International Air Transport Association, or IATA, air travel collapsed 66% in 2020, returning to 1998 levels. The airline association is also in the process of launching its digital travel pass that they believe has the potential to get the world flying again. In the current environment, um, border control authorities basically look at uh, pieces of paper, your, your pre-departure test certificate, your vaccination certificate. That may work uh, with small numbers of passengers, but if you're looking at mass travel, a paper-based process will, will clog up our airports and our immigration counters. So the ITER Travel Pass is a digital solution to address that. The IATA Travel Pass is currently running trials with 20 airlines ahead of its launch in the middle of April. IATA now predicts that personal and leisure travel will return from the second half of this year, although air passenger numbers won't return to pre-COVID-19 levels till 2024. Despite the decentralized initial approach and the practical challenges of implementing a universally recognized system, digital travel passes will become the reality in the post-pandemic world. IATA says that it's important to remember that these initiatives facilitate travel. Ultimately, it's the government that needs to decide when they're ready to open borders and welcome travelers. Miru Lu, CGTN, Singapore.